In this video, we're going to focus on naming acid halides. So how can we name this compound? So this is an acid bromide, but because we have a total of two carbons, which is associated with ethane, this is going to be called ethanoyl bromide, since we have a bromine atom attached to it. The common name for this particular acid halide is acetal, or rather acetyl, bromide. Go ahead and try this one. So in this example, we have a total of three carbons, which is associated with propane, but this is going to be called propanoyl fluoride. Now let's move on to our next example. So this time we're going to have an acid chloride. Go ahead and pause the video and name this molecule. So we have a methyl group on carbon 3. So this is going to be called 3-methyl and we have a 4-carbon chain so instead of saying butane it's going to be butanoyl and then chloride. So 3-methyl butanoyl chloride. Here's a similar example that you could try. So this time we're going to have a methyl group, a bromine atom, and a chlorine atom. So this is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we need to put it in alphabetical order. So bromo comes before methyl, therefore it's going to be 2 bromo, and then 3 methyl. We have a 5 carbon chain. So this is going to be pentanoyl and then chloride based on the chlorine atom at the end. So 2-bromo-3-methyl-pentanoyl chloride. Now what about this one? Go ahead and name this molecule. So we have another acid chloride but attached to a benzene ring. So whenever you have a benzene group plus a carbon, you have a benzoyl group, but instead of benzoyl, this is going to be called benzoyl because we have an acid halide attached to it, and then we have a chlorine atom at the end. So this is simply benzoyl chloride. Now what if we have a cyclohexane ring attached to an acid chloride? How is that going to change the name? So this is going to be called cyclohexane and then carbonyl. We have a carbonyl group right here. Chloride. Cyclohexane carbonyl chloride. So based on that example, Go ahead and write the name for this one. So what if we have an acid bromide instead of an acid chloride? So we have a cyclopentane ring. So cyclopentane. And we have a carbonyl functional group attached to a bromide ion. Cyclopentane carbonyl bromide. Now let's try one more example. So this time we're going to have an ethyl substituent attached to a cyclohexane ring with an acid bromide. So the acid bromide has priority. This is going to be carbon 1, which means the ethyl group is all carbon 3. So this is going to be called 3-ethyl and then cyclohexane carbonyl bromide. And so now you know how to name acid halides. 
And so that's it, 3-ethyl cyclohexane carbonyl bromide.